In this demo of Cloudflare for Teams, the Zero Trust platform for Cloudflare One, we'll show you the admin experience of connecting and securing any user to any self-hosted SaaS or internet app. And then we'll show the end user experience for how we make application access and internet browsing safer and faster. Let's start with the admin experience. I've already onboarded five self-hosted and SaaS applications with outbound tunnels to Cloudflare's Edge. First, I define which federated identity groups are authorized to access each application. Then, I applied zero trust rules based on the user's country, authentication method required from their IDP, and device posture required from CrowdStrike. Cloudflare acts as an identity proxy, federating identity from multiple enterprise and social identity providers and we can use device posture attributes from multiple endpoint partnerships, including Cloudflare's own device client and gateway protection. Typically, our device client would split tunnel private network traffic, but I'm configuring it to route traffic to a private IP subnet through Cloudflare's edge. We've also set up identity-based HTTP filter policies to block access and isolate activity to enable zero trust browsing for internet and SaaS apps. We're blocking malware, phishing, and other known threats and besides antivirus scanning, we're blocking any EXE and zip file downloads and file sharing and email apps for the finance team. To reduce the risk of malware, phishing, and data loss without overblocking users, we're isolating all web code from social networking, productivity, and email applications, plus newly seen domains far away from their devices. And we've set up identity-based network rules to only allow RDP access to specific private IPs and host names we have several users authorized to access Moodle, our self-hosted learning management application. One is prompted to authenticate, chooses Okta, but hasn't enrolled his hard key yet and is denied. Another user logs in with their hard key, allowing Cloudflare to verify his identity, and now he's in. It doesn't matter that IT doesn't manage his laptop because no client on the device is required. Another user is an employee authorized to RDP into his server within a private network. His device is running Cloudflare's client, which is always running without sacrificing performance. He's already authenticated, such that his RDP thick client can connect to the server's private IP. This same user now accesses his Google SaaS apps. Cloudflare verifies that CrowdStrike is running, and his Azure Active Directory authentication passes before granting access. But he's blocked from uploading certain file types, like zip files, which he could be using to exfiltrate something sensitive. and he's also blocked from accessing certain settings. His entire browsing experience feels the same as it always has, and yet the web code is running at Cloudflare's Edge, so he's interacting with just the final rendering, securely streamed via an encrypted tunnel to his local browser. Next, the user browses to an online game app, and like most internet apps, there's third-party ads sending code to the browser. Such code can exploit a browser vulnerability. In our example, we're using a benign exploit that opens the calculator we know that most will be malicious. We're going to run this exploit again, but this time we're going to enable gateway protections. Since we're isolating the device from the web code, we can see that this exploit is not reaching the device at all. Returning to our product's dash, the IT and security teams can quickly learn what apps have the most logins, any new trends, and what's being blocked the most. Cloudflare can push activity logs wherever you prefer to keep them, whether it's a sim like Splunk or a cloud storage bucket like Amazon S3. Thanks for watching.